Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my March favorites. I have a couple favorites I want to share with you guys that I've been enjoying for the month of March. So the first product is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the matte and poreless. I picked up the color 120. I actually just did a review on this one, so I'll link it down below. Um, basically, I wanted to have a drugstore foundation that provided matte coverage and covered my oils for the better part of the day. Um, I was previously using the Laura Mercier foundation, the, where is it? I was previously using the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid, which I also really like, but this is definitely a cheaper alternative that I really enjoy. It keeps me matte throughout the better part of the day. I did not have to use any primer. Um, like I mentioned, I did do a full review and demo throughout the entire day to show how it wears. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it down below. In conjunction with the Maybelline foundation, I've been also loving the Fit Me concealer. Um, I have the color 10 light. Uh, I pretty much bought this instead of the NARS concealer. I had just ran out of the NARS concealer, but I found that it was really expensive for the same exact product. This is the about third time that I'm buying this concealer, and it's really good for my under eye circles and also for blemishes. So definitely if you don't want to shell out the money for the NARS concealer, I would pick this one up because it is the exact same consistency in my eyes. So to top all that off, I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and this is in the color one transparent. It's really good to just touch up throughout the day when I have a couple oil spots peeking through at work or when I'm on the go. I have one at home and one at work in my work bag so definitely holy girl products for me. I've hit pan in both products so I really enjoy this product for just staying matte throughout the entire day. It is perfect. The next product I want to talk about is the Batiste Dry Shampoo, and this is the Clean and Classic Original. Um, when I went to Ulta, I saw a whole bunch more different scents that they just brought out, but this is definitely my favorite. I've used the Brunette one as well as the Flowery one, but the Brunette one left a film in my hair, which is not the point of wearing dry shampoo, and the flower one just made my head hurt. Um, I'm very sensitive to scents, so this one is really perfect for that. Um, I'm not the type of person that washes their hair every day. I probably go like two, three days without washing it before um, I give it a good wash. So the dry shampoo has really helped me to have my hair just grow longer and not be as damaged as it used to be. I used to wear a lot of mousse, used to bleach my hair, color it different crazy colors so my hair was super damaged and I find that not washing your hair every single day really maintains longevity and healthiness of your hair so if you're looking for dry shampoo I would definitely look into this one um, also I tried the Tresemme one with the yellow cap on top also left a really dark film in my hair which is really hard to comb out so pick this one up if you're interested. The last product I would like to talk about is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I really enjoy this one. It has a really awesome wand. It's the perfect thickness, perfect consistency. It's more of a dry, it's more of a drier formula, um, but I really love it. It doesn't have rubber bristles. It's actually like the, I don't know what you call these type of bristles, but this is actually the bristles that I prefer in a mascara. This mascara came with the Urban Decay on the Run palette and been enjoying it ever since. Perfect mascara for the right amount of volume and length it gives you to your eyelashes. I've really been enjoying this mascara. So that completes my favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next one. Bye now.